every group of friends, there's always one guy who can best be described as the inappropriate one. I call that guy a Barry. A Barry says and does things other people only think. And he does not know the word propriety. There are all kinds of berries. Old berries. Young berries. And berries all over the world. And that's me and my three best friends when we were 10. The one on the end, that's our Barry. His name is Barry. Growing up, we thought Barry was hilarious. He played pranks on girls, he infuriated teachers, and we loved him for it. But as we've gotten older, and started having careers, wives, and families, he's become an embarrassment, a detriment to our livelihoods and reputations, a social wrecking ball. I believe friendship has no limits, at least I did, until Barry went too far. opportunity to appreciate a moment. My uh, dad had so many great qualities. Um, he was loyal. He always put others before himself. He made an indelible impression on, on everyone. From um, my son JT and myself. Especially during that tough time after my wife passed away. So for all these reasons and uh, Really too many more to count. I'll miss you, Dad. Thank you so much, Rafe. Does anyone else have any remembrances they'd like to honor the deceased with? Just a simple anecdote or memory to honor him by. Really? I, I know they can. Oh, I should say something. Hmm? I should say something. No, you should not. Yes, I should. Rafe's dad is not getting the tribute he deserves. We gotta celebrate the man's life. I think it's fine. It's fine. Family Next time, man. Next time. <clears throat> Barry. Anyone? <clears throat> Sir? <clears throat> Barry. Barry, have you thought about what you're gonna say? Yeah, for years. No, no, no. Hey, hey, shh. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. Hi, everyone. Oh, louder than I thought. <clears throat> My name, for those of you who don't know me, is uh, Barry Burke. And uh, I've been friends with Rafe, Kurt, and Desmond since we all went to camp together in the fifth grade. It was the best time of my life. Our motto back then was pals forever, and it still is today. As a matter of fact, the first time I met Rafe, he proved to me what a great pal he was by pulling Susie Henchy off me when she tried to choke me for kissing her. <laughs> Do you remember that? Her, uh, her reaction pretty much set the trend for my present romantic life. It is not good. <laughs> uh, the, point, the point is, um, I'd be remiss if I didn't say a few words about his dad because he was such a special guy to, to all of us. Thank you. I remember the time in sixth grade when he, he came to our school and snuck us out of PE, <laughs> took us to our first porno flick. <laughs> I'll never no, forget no. that. Kurt, you popped in your pants right there in the theater. Oh. Kurt the Squirt, that's where that nickname came from. That's interesting. I, I remember thinking to myself, geez Louise, that is a lot of semen for a 10 year old. Oh, no. <laughs> I, remember, I remember we all had to clean it up. Didn't happen. Talk about leaving an indelible mark. <laughs> I'll never forget that one. I think maybe. Yeah, yeah, and I remember this other time in the seventh grade when he taught us how to smoke the weed. No, no. no. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, he taught us how to roll it, puff it, pass it. <laughs> He taught us how to smoke weed. You, you got us so blazed, dude. You got us so blazed. You just, come here. 
<laughs> Photo op. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just not supposed yeah. to touch the button. And, 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 and although he may have had some honey on the side, he loved you, Mrs. Griggs. He loved you. And I don't think there's a single solitary soul in this building who doesn't know that. Now, I could go on and on and on about this fella, but I won't. We're gonna raise a glass for you tonight, Mr. Griggs, because we all know how much you like to get your drink on. <laughs> Boom. Hope they serve up there in heaven. R.I.P. Space Cowboy. Why do you push me? Thank you, Mr. Burke. That was awful. Um, if we could all just move to the reception area um, very quickly, just because I th we, come on. What were you thinking, Barry? I thought everybody knew, obviously. <sighs> no one knew, least of all my mom. It sounded so good in my head, Rafe. It sounded so regal. Regal? Everyone probably suspected it. I mean, look at you. What does that mean? Uh, we... well, it means that everyone knows that you're too busy chasing around random skanks to spend any time with your son. That is so not true. Dad? Hey, buddy, you okay? Are you sad because Grandpa died? Mm -hmm. I know, buddy. It's um, sad. It's really just sad. But, uh, but you know what? Just think of the good times and stuff. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, buddy. Hi, Not doing too good, huh? No. No, not me neither. Do you remember how you and your grandpa used to get ice cream every Sunday? Yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. Do you want to honor him? Yeah. Well, hot dog. Let's honor the man. What are we doing sitting here? <laughs> Meet me over at the dessert train in two minutes. We'll see you can scarf back three chocolate chip cookies faster. My money's on me, short stack. All right? Oh, and then and then, and then we're going to put some crumbs in Uncle Dan's jacket because Uncle Dan is a you-know-what? Screw it. Total screw it. Yeah. Ah! Now go ahead, swing out of here, you little monkey. Wow, man, he really loves you, Barry. Yeah, you just gotta make it fun, man. You know, it's not that hard. You know, you should go with him. <clears throat> yeah, I should. I'll do that uh, later. Excuse me, I never got a chance to thank you. You run a lovely funeral. And you guys are giving me shit? He's trying to get laid at his dad's funeral. <sighs> Don't. It's about the pitch. I gotta take, take it. it. Let's go. My feet are killing me. Okay, well, maybe just one moment longer, you know, for Rafe, because it's a big day for him. Well, it's not like we can do anything for him. His dad's already dead. I know. I just... I'll give you another foot massage. Whatevs. Just find me when you're ready. All right, I love you. You gotta break up with her, man. What? You gotta break up with her. Are you on drugs? No. She walks all over you. You, you. You're just too blind to see it because you're in shock that she talks to you, let alone actually dates you. Okay, newsflash, uh, Desmond and Rafe love her. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't like her either. They're just too afraid to tell you. You deserve better than her. She's mean. She's manipulating you with that kiss. Don't you see that? I mean, yeah. Any guy would gladly get up to his nuts in her guts, okay? That's not dispute here, okay? Thank you. The problem is, she's a twunt. It's a new term I'm using. It's a combo of two words. Guess which two? Twitter. Quat and cunt. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Would you prefer quat? The terms are interchangeable. She's not a twunt or a quat. She's both. No. She's the one. She's the one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I did it again, didn't I? Yeah. I'm kidding. I was kidding about her being a twunt, man. And about her looking like an Eastern European porn star. You didn't say anything about her looking like an Eastern European porn star. Oh, not around you, no. Okay, you look like a Western European porn star. That's what I'm shooting for. You're the quant now, dog. What? Peace. Quant's not even a word, Kurt. Hey, JT. <laughs> Let's get to those cookies, huh? Oh, man, I feel so bad about what I did to Rafe. It's the only thing I can think about. It's plaguing my mind. Man, you work with a lot of pretty ladies, don't you? Barry, look, I know you need somebody to talk to right now, but you can't just drop by my office whenever you feel like it, OK? Yeah, yeah, uh. This is an important time. Yeah, yeah. We're in the last round of this pitch. I'm up for creative director. Are you listening? Yeah. Well, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Who is the cutie pie? Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the account planner I was telling you about. That's her? I think being around that all day, you get horny enough to go home and screw your wife every once in a while. Excuse me, but Rach and I have plenty of sex. Oh, you do? I, I didn't know that. When was the last time you had intercourse? 
Um, my point exactly, Desmond. Can I, can I be totally blunt with you for a sec? Can you not be blunt? I don't think so. I tried one time. I had a migraine for three days. Your marriage is not your only problem, okay? Whatever happened to high school with Desmond? He was fun. He, like, smoked pot every once in a while, play the keys, hang out. Now you're like this unrecognizable workaholic robot. You won't even go out for lunch with me. <sighs> Fine. We'll get lunch, okay? Just let me uh, finish these storyboards. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm all about the work. All right, because if we land this account, dude, it'll be a total game changer, you know what I mean? Barry? Good morning. Oh, that is a bad combo. What's that? Lox and sausages. Loxages. It's <laughs> a lot of meat. Yeah, don't do it. Uh -huh. How are you getting work done around here? Halfway to Bonerville. <laughs> Where's Bonerville? In my pants. I'm <laughs> fighting a semi right now. A semi? <laughs> semi hard not. I'm half masked from looking at all this talent around here. It's insane. Yeah, well, advertising does attract a lot of good-looking women, so... You work here? Actually, I, uh, I own the agency. What? Yeah. Nice moves, man. Oh, look at that. It's Boner o'clock here. <laughs> what are you doing? No, oh, I'm sorry. No, I know. He, he's, he's cracking me up. Yeah. What? Yes, I was cracking him up. Just telling him about how these women here are giving me a Woodrow Wilson. Especially that cute <sighs> brunette account planner he pointed out. Yeah? So, uh, Bill, the pitch is going well, great. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. No, right I... there. That's her right there. What? Look, 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 look. There she is right there. What are you... That one. Her. Desmond was telling me that back when he used to actually have sex with his wife, he used to imagine her instead. She was his closer. You know what I mean? And Bill, don't lie to me. I know you've done the exact same thing. I bet you I haven't. Why, because you got ED? No, because she's my daughter. <coughs> you made her? Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Seven years I put in here, Barry. I know. Listen, I, I don't want you to sweat it, okay? I'm going to go back in. I'm going to talk to your boss. I'm going to sort the whole thing out. Don't. You've done enough. Yes, I need a ride. Fuck you. Kurt, it's Barry. I, uh, I feel terrible. I'm, I got Desmond fired today, and I, I'm outside your house. I really need to talk to somebody. So uh, I'm just going to wait here for you, all right? Um, actually, I, I remember where you keep your key. I think I'm just going to let myself in. So um, I'll, I'll see you when you get here. Okay, thanks, bud. Yes. I got it. Mm. Thanks. That was a really good restaurant, huh? Uh, what? It's rated one of the best in the city. Really? It didn't seem like it. Well, it is. Why are you being so sweet tonight? Because I have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? You'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. oh! This is not the surprise I was talking about. I'm really sorry about this. Don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is exactly what it looks like. Okay, put it away. Okay. Whoa. You know what, guys? I, I am sorry. Don't. Bring it on in for a hug? Uh-uh. Yeah. Go. No, no. Barry, you stop hitting me. No! Oh. Oh. You mean he still had a boner? Oh. A raging boner. So it was less of a hug and more of a dry hump. It was practically inside of her for crying out loud. So she dumped me, naturally. She said, if I'm still friends with Barry, I'm practically as juvenile as he is. I'm sorry, bye. It doesn't matter anymore. Guys, I know we've been friends with Barry since before we hit puberty, but um, I'm over it. I am over it. I mean, the dude's heart's in the right place, but let's face it, man, he is a menace. Yeah? I mean, when we were kids, it was great. Yeah, it's fun. We're adults now. We're trying to have families and careers and relationships, Kurt. And Barry's making that impossible. 
It's his barryisms. What are you saying? I'm saying that we'll always love the guy, but we cannot live with him anymore. Yeah, but I mean, Barry's always there for us. Yeah, that's the problem. He's always there screwing everything up. He's a real ragamuffin. What if we were to get rid of him? <clears throat> okay. I think I get what you're saying. I just want to clarify something. I can't kill someone. I can't, but I want to help. I'll take the... I'll take it. I don't want to, but I'll do it. We're not talking about murdering him, Kurt. That's not on the table. I knew that. Everyone was... was passionate about. So what, do you want to disown him? No, no, that wouldn't work. He'd just keep coming back like a zombie or something. It's like an intervention? Oh, no, he'd relapse. No, dude, this, this, this requires something far more stealthy, right? I'm talking about making someone else deal with him. Okay, all right. So we, uh, we hire someone else to whack him. That way we're not even connected to the murder. We're getting away, hands clean. We go down to Mexico, chill out, drinking, smoking weed. I maybe get addicted to heroin, but that's cool. I'm not talking about whacking him, Ray Liotta. <laughs> Obviously. See, what we need isn't someone who can put up with Barry. What we need is someone who has to put up with Barry. The type of person who has to put up with a never-ending stream of infantile behavior, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for their entire Life. A therapist. A wife. Life. A wife. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Yeah. You were locked in a closet as a kid. I mean, he's always talking about he wants to meet someone anyway, right? Yeah. We'd just be doing him a favor. I like it. Scratch that. I love it. I don't know, guys. I mean, I need him. What are you talking about, right? I mean, he babysits JT every Saturday night. That's my <sighs> prime date night. In fact, he's with him right now so I can go meet the funeral director at nine. Yes, that's happening. Hand over don't fist. Don't catch it. No. It's hand over Make fist. a fist. I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, let me ask you a question, Rafe. When um, Barry's babysitting JT, what exactly do they do? I don't know. They have a blast, though. They play video games, watch movies. Well, uh, looks like Barry just posted what they're actually doing. Okay, okay, throw, 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 throw. No, run, 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 run. Holy shit! <laughs> Let's marry off this fucker. I don't understand. Why you guys so keen on finding me a girlfriend all of a sudden? Pals forever, remember? Yeah. I want you to be happy. Yeah, man. Plus, you're such a catch. It's a total mystery how you're still single. Mm, no, true. I don't know about me. Listen, guys, I promise you, I'm gonna put my best foot forward today, okay? Cool, man. Bring on the vagina. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi, I'm Leslie. Hi, I'm Barry. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Next! <laughs> Excuse me? Next. Ah, uh, Barry. That's yeah. not how speed dating works. Well, I'm not feeling it with her. Are you kidding me? Is he kidding me? Sadly, no. Listen, no matter what you're feeling, I'm not feeling anything. That's the problem. Really? Hey, it's no offense to you. You're, you're beautiful. We just, you know, we don't have it. You have to wait until they ring the bell. The bell? I gotta talk to her for the whole five minutes? Yeah! I'm sitting across from you. I hear the words coming out of your mouth. Look, if it's any consolation, he's always like this. Yeah. Nice shirt. Do not, hey, do not make fun of my friends. Fuck you. What? I, and fuck you. What did I do? I have to live with this. <sighs> Quite the mouth on her. She's got some anger issues. Barry, Barry, listen to me very carefully, all right? When you meet these women, whatever comes to your mind, yeah. say the opposite. I got it. Uh, yeah, backwards town. Got it. Oh, yeah, that looks super real. I can't tell at all. That sure does not give off the impression that you own several stray dogs. Jesus Christ! You scared the shit out of me. I mean, uh, you do not look like a cutter at all. Even harder than we thought. It's time to bring out the big guns. So, Mr. Goker, how does this exactly, um, work? Well, the brides obviously don't come in the mail, but, uh, they do come in a very small crate on a boat. And we, of course, make sure to poke the holes in the box so they can breathe. Keep it human. Oh. I'm kidding! <laughs> we don't put them in a box. What are we, monsters? No, no. just a, this is a very small, dangerous boat. <laughs> so I guess you're the man with all the bitches. Okay. Bitch? Yeah. Okay, I gotta ask you guys a question right now. Do you, uh, do you guys hate women? No. No, I Because I don't sell women to men who hate 
women. We do not sell bitches. If we did, it'd be called Goker's Mail Order Bitches, not Goker's Mail Order Brides, okay? Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a slang term, you know. I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually looking, is that okay? Yeah. I am not looking to marry anybody, maybe just a girlfriend. Unless she's like super, super duper cool, then maybe. Or she's an info. Look, let me make something very clear here, all right? Here at Gokers, we are not just about business. First and foremost, we are about love, passion, romance, fucking. Okay, hot fuck action at a really reasonable price. Hot flipping and flapping, smacking ass cracks together, all right? You ever, you ever slam your ass crack against a woman's ass crack? It rivals penetration, guys. I know you don't believe me, but you're gonna be able to try it with one of these women and find me right. So, just to be clear here on your old, uh, application. Now your name is Barry Burke. Your favorite food is Fry. Your favorite book is the novelization of the Bill Murray classic, Stripes. It's one of my favorite books. I did not care for the movie. And you live off a settlement you got from the city for walking into an exposed manhole. Yeah, I actually, I removed that manhole cover myself and then intentionally walked into said manhole. But that is, that is neither here nor there. Oh, no, no. That is both here and there, my friend. That is genius. I'm a genius. Can you say that to them, please? All right, Barry, prepare to meet the new love of your life, Juanita. Oh, <laughs> wow. wow. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Swing. <laughs> Her village has been completely ravaged by disease, flood, famine, and rebels, so she is very open to meeting gentlemanly, successful American men. Uh, okay, well, uh, how about a not-so-gentlemanly, not-so-successful American man? Are you kidding me? She'd marry a raccoon with an extended asshole if it got her out of her fucking village. She's gonna love you, man. <laughs> Sorry. So how was your plane flight? Oh, uh, the plane. The plane? Ah, ah, si, muy bueno. Muy bueno. Good. Good, good, good. That's good. Yeah. Probably not a lot of planes where you come from, huh? Is it not a lot of planes where you come from? Cars either. Probably not a lot of cars. What do you, what do you use to get around? A donkey? Ride a donkey? Yeah, donkey's probably safer anyway, you know. Because I bet you like to throw back the cervezas. Mm, cervezas. Cerveza, yeah. <laughs> Tequila! <laughs> this is hopeless. I was hoping that we could make it a little physical because I noticed you carry a formidable amount of junk in your trunk. Junk in trunk? Face it, guys, it's over. We'll never find him a wife. Let's go. I want to meet up with that funeral director anyway. So you work at the parks department? Yeah, I am director of events. Wow. Yeah. What a cool job. It is. It's really cool. We do concerts and Shakespeare in the park. I go to that. You do? I love that. Oh. I, I have to work a lot of weekend nights, but it's fine. I love it. So, yeah. I don't want to freak you out because this is obviously our first date, but you're the total package. Really? Well, yeah, I mean, your online profile was nice and charming and the picture is beautiful, but in person, you're just like, radiant. Oh, um, well, I think you're pretty great too. Oh, thanks. I, I like to take things slowly, if that's all right. Yes, couldn't agree more. I like to take things slow myself. I, I, I didn't think you were that type of girl. <laughs> Someone who would just jump in the sack on the first date or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I am that type of girl. I am. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I'd probably be fucking right now if it wasn't my situation. Low deck. Okay, I can give you a hint. It rhymes with beast inspection. Do you get it? I think I know, yeah, I think I know what you mean. So it's not itchy anymore, mm -hmm. but um, it just probably doesn't smell very good. <laughs> anyway. So, what kind of music do you like? I'm mostly into reggae and dub. Dub, ska, dance hall. My favorite food is fried. Italian and Mexican. And Mexican. Also Italian and Japanese. Oh, 
I am a sushi slum. How, how does that manifest itself? I'm a whore for sushi. Uh, also, mm. wow, I can't believe you ate that all in one bite. You're like a boa constrictor. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight with you. Your breasts were a lot bigger in the photo. In your photo, you looked a lot taller. You had more neck. It was a, like a headshot. You had less teeth. And uh, you looked a lot more third worldy. Mexican-y. No soy de Mexico. You've got hair plugs. And I don't mind much. It is not that I find you unattractive at all. It's just false advertising. But it's false advertising, you know? You have rendered me completely speechless. Thank you. All I can say is wow. I get that a lot. Will you excuse me for a second? Yeah, I get it. I need to shit like that every time I eat bacon. It's the middle of dinner. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go take a shit. Are you going to have a piss? Uh, well, since you asked, um, some urine might actually exit my penis. I wasn't going to say that. I felt like it was implied when I said, excuse me. Just wash your hands, because dick hands. This is gross. And be quick, because I really need to shit. OK, I'm going to go shit. OK. Permiso. Voy al baño. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta make a fiesta in el baño, no el problem. Baño. Yeah, yeah, poo party. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm actually not in line. Just wishing I were dead. Um, no, ¿qué? Oh, um, me gustaría echarme de un precipicio y morir vuelto en llamas. Ay, verdad, siento lo mismo. ¿Qué pasó, mala cita? Yo solo sé 20 palabras en inglés, pero él es la persona más ofensiva que he conocido. Debes conocer mi cita. Ah, parece que no. Sí. Excuse me, if, if you're waiting for a cab, I was here first. Yeah, you got it, no problem. There we go. Hey! Excuse wait, me. Ladies no, 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 no. Oh, ladies lady. Yeah, I'll yeah, tell you yeah, if I see one. Really? really? I'm scratching my fingers now. Get off! Excuse, excuse me. me. Just excuse I, I... Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. Unbelievable. All right, folks, where to? Find him a column, please. Uh, I guess we're neighbors. Guess so, yippee. Enjoy. Uh, I can't wait to run into you. Yeah, me neither. It's still the best part of the neighborhood, minus the, the gentrification. gentrification. Hey, can you drop me off first? Really? Did you fart? No, I've been trying. Yeah, because I farted right when we got in, and that is not my brand. It's pathetic. I can't smell anything. What, you don't have a sense of smell, you mean? It's just a terrible thought. Oh, you're calling my fart pathetic? Yes. Well, we're dealing with a new issue here. The issue is that you apparently have gas, and it's going to come out at some point during this cab ride. Trust me, I hope so. <sighs> Nothing. You ever Why heard of the freeway, buddy? Street? It's called the way there. Yeah, no Could problem. I'll get there slower? on Tuesday. Assholes. Hey. What? Watch it, you Eat wanker. my dick, you fuckface. Fat hey, mouth. Hey, customer. Cock breath. Cock breath. Oh, that's impressive. Thanks, you too. Thank you. My friends would disagree, and they think my mouth is my biggest problem. I think it's fine. You just have you have thin lips. No, not. No, what the things I say, not what my lips oh, look like. Oh, no. right. <laughs> I know I have thin lips. It's, it's the bane of my existence. Me too. Loads of guys have done me because of their embarrassed. Oh, dicks. Yeah. I don't care. But it's my roommate. She's always trying to set me up and find me a husband. <laughs> no, tell me about it. My 
my friends just bought me a wife. They bought? They bought me a wife, like out of the blue. So you're married? No, may maybe. I don't know. I don't think it was legally binding. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that one. What do you do? Um, I work for the Parks Department. The what? Parks Department. Parks Department. Parks. 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 Oh, Parks. Parks the Department. Parks Department. Right, right, for the yeah. Parks Department. Got it. Well, that's cool. That is really cool. Want to know what I do? Not really. Come on, take a guess. It's a good one. I'm unemployed? Yes. <laughs> Very good guess. Be honest with you. Do you think it was inappropriate? For you to talk about your own feminine hygiene issue at your dinner date? Yes. Absolutely not. Thank you. Why would that be weird? I know. I didn't think so, but then I was like questioning people, myself. People are weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my yeah. date, my wife walked out on our date tonight, I think because I talked about my balls. <sighs> like one time. She sounds like a twant. What? I'm sorry. That's a really ugly word. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Did you? I say twant. I... No, you don't. I say twant all the time. I thought I made it up. I thought I made it up. Well, I guess we both made it up. Yes, we did. Oh my god, <laughs> I love twant, I love twant. Oh, I love twant. I love twant. I love twant. I love it when you say twant. Oh, look at that, you great look at twant. That. Oh. oh, no. Oh, yeah, twant. I can't do Scottish accent. Oh, you're, oh, you're stinky oh, twant. Oh, my god, listen, are you? Are you getting fucking okay, white, okay. though? Would you like some twant korma? <laughs> butter, butter twant? One order of butter twant, please. And no, I don't know why people react to me that way. I really don't. It's just I prefer to be honest because Everyone wastes so much time being polite when they could just say, say what, what they, they mean. mean. The question you gotta ask yourself is, do you feel lucky, Twant? <laughs> well, do ya? Oh, I got it. It was too big at the end, but you get it. Yeah. That was good. Do you feel lucky, that was really good. Twant? <laughs> 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 yeah, here you go. Door to door service. Thanks. That would almost be chivalrous if you didn't just arm wrestle me for it. Well. I have something very pressing to do at home. Masturbate. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Man, get a room. Just shut, shut your shut stupid your idiot face. face. <laughs> Seriously, shut your stupid yeah, face. Shut up. Yeah. Twants. Well. <laughs> oh. I got a put a puff in my throat. Let it rip. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. I hate this job. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Well. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. I'll pay for the cab. Don't worry. Always planned on it. Hey, hey, hey. You are not as big of a bitch as I thought you were going to be. Thanks. Yeah. You're not as big of a cheese stick. Well, you haven't seen my dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's your name? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I'm Mel, I'm Mel Miller. Mel, 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 I'm Melanie Miller. I'm Barry Burke. Barry Burke. Okay. Yeah. Well, how'd you do? I do well. Um, maybe I'll run into you sometime, Mel Miller. Maybe we, we will, Barry Burke. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey, babe. This museum pitch is killing me. I have like zero ideas. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would just come and take a little break. With you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, it's 
some exercises to help me, you know, clear my head. Um, I do this in my Pilates class, isn't it fun? I think it might be fun. I wrinkle up my stuff on my desk. Babe, I'm, I'm really trying to, trying to get some stuff done, you know what I mean? Can't do it tomorrow? Uh, I mean, I could. I'd just rather not. Babe, no one's hiring. I have to focus, okay? Sorry. I miss that guy. What guy? It's time we face the fact that you, that, uh, that. What's that now? What was I saying? Are you high? <laughs> yeah, like I found a year old blunt and smoked that and like coughed so hard I farted. Like I did that. Yeah. He's high. You're me. high. Yeah, I'm high. Yeah, <laughs> I am high as hell right now. This is not about me. Let's talk about you, Barry. I feel like I let you guys down a little bit. You definitely did. Yep. Yeah. I, I, actually, I did. I did share a cab ride home with a pretty awesome girl after the date, though. What? It, and? And it was, it was awesome. I don't know, it was, it was weird. We had so much in common, you know? She was just like me. She was smart, witty, good looking. Okay, 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 okay. Did you get her phone number? No, I, I figure I bump into her sometimes. Dude, oh, are you out of your mind? We've scoured this entire city to find someone who can tolerate you for more than three seconds. Then you finally find somebody that likes you and you don't even get her fucking number? I wanted to play it cool. Cool? We are way past cool, man. This shit is desperate. Yes. Can I have a chocolate malt? All right, all right, don't I worry. need a malt. We'll find her. Just what was her name? Mel. Mel what? Mmm. Mel. Mom. Melvin. Mel. Yeah. Mel Gibson. No. no it's not. Impossible. Mel. Oh, I was like, ah. Oh, like, the, the, like, what was her name? Fuck, hey. oh, Barry. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Well then, heck, Barry. What's the JD point? Barry, I will literally club you with this bar spoon if you don't tell me who she is. Tell me. Wait, I just got it. Oh, Mel Miller. She's pretty. Oh. Graduated from Berkeley, volunteers at a dog adoption center. Is this real? Just some like catfish type situation. I got her number. Call her. Wait. We only get one shot at this, all right? Better do it right. <laughs> oh, every time. Oh, it is ridiculously hot out there. Oh. I am so clammy and sticky and oh, disgusting. Oh. Oh. I think I put deodorant on. Oh. Are you wearing my bra? Oh. Yeah, I had to borrow it. Why? To match your thong. Do you want it back? No. Oh, you sure? Oh. Actually, I might need a hand. No, no, you keep it, really. Thank you. It's really stuck up there. Yeah. So have you heard anything from the cab guy? Uh, oh, that guy. Um, no. I mean, I wouldn't expect to. He hasn't got my number, so. Bummer. I don't care. Anyway, it's better for you if I'm single. Right? What would you do without your wing girl? Get dates. You what on page? No. It's really hard for you. Babe, you've got to learn to love yourself before others can love you. My self-esteem is fine now. No, I mean literally love yourself. You know? Down there, between your legs. Do you know what I mean? Try the shower head. Try your electric toothbrush. Yours is a lot more powerful than mine and really gets in there. That is really disgusting. It's not, it's natural. This is the problem with you, Beige. Why do you think I spend so long in the bathroom every morning? I'm masturbating. Hmm. 
a good hour before breakfast, and usually 45 minutes if I can squeeze it in when I get home. I'm gonna get you masturbating if it's the last thing I do. I'm all good. Hello? Hey, Mel, this is Barry uh, from the cab. Oh, um, oh. Use some kind of pervert stalker or something. Mm. Yeah, sometimes. Oh. No! Uh, I can't read Kurt's handwriting. What are you talking about? It says, I was wondering if you're not doing anything Friday night, if you'd like to go to dinner with me or any other activity. Oh you my like... God, could you make it any wordier? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Compliment or compliment. I was wondering if you want me to come in and what? What's going on? <laughs> Speak from your heart. Shut up. Are you talking to me? Yes. Oh, really? No, no. You shut up. Please don't screw this up. You shut up. Fuck off. Fuck you. Are you getting busy on Friday night? I don't know. You tell me if I'm getting busy Friday night. What is English your second language? I think so. <laughs> Why don't I pick you up at eight and, uh, and we'll talk about the details later. Cool. See ya. Cool. See ya. Oh. oh he got a date. He got a date. Have a date. What? Yeah. That's a good yes. day. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. No. I love him. I think I need to go and have a shower. Ew. I feel so inspired I know. after that. It was just. It's like I'm I alive, was, right? I know. I feel alive. It's just so real. Oh, God. This is, this is hands down the, the best first date I've ever had. Yeah. Ever. Mine too. Yeah? Yeah. And no one has ever taken me to a. Cockfight. I can't believe that. So you got cockfight written all over you. <laughs> it's so bloody, oh, I know. So oh, Everywhere. Poor little guys. Yeah. yeah, but you made that great call on dinner, so. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad you liked it. I, love I that. think they have incredible cuisine at Hooters, but most people don't notice because of the massive tits. I know, the tits are distracting. Yeah. This feels so natural. No. It makes me want to spoon in your face. I want to... I want to lick the inside of your mouth. Yeah. Oh, God. I hope you taste like old dogs. I do. I always do. Yeah. Between my legs is working overtime and that's cool. Yeah. It's cool. That's cool. Sorry. That's cool. Yeah. I hope you don't mind if I work one out to you later. I'd like that. Yeah. Mm. Then I will. Mm. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Mel are totally hitting it off. Oh my god, that is amazing. I know! Oh my god! This could be it! Oh my god! Yes. Oh. Mm. <laughs> They're going out again on Friday? That's huge! Yeah. Think of the freedom. See you at my friend. You realize what this could mean, right? Yeah. Eating at restaurants without being publicly humiliated. Going to sporting events without fear of ejection. Not having people say, hey, you know your friend Barry? Don't ever bring him to my motherfucking house again. And that's a woman saying that. I'm gonna meet so many more chicks. Oh, I'm gonna bone Rachel a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Camille. Go what? What? It's time to make right what once was. Uh... Oh, hell no. Hey. Hey. I didn't even see you over there. Oh, really? Oh, uh, I'd seen you earlier, but I, I, I... Cool. 
What's up? Honestly, I'm not doing so well. I just broke up with someone. You already got a new boyfriend and, and then broke up with him? It's been like 11 days. Yeah, I moved on, Kurt, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I moved on a lot to a lot of different women. Wow, anyone special? No, no yeah, no, just it's hard to notice because there's so many, so much ass coming my way. It's all the clingy bitches, and, you know? Awesome, well, it was really nice running into you. But I don't really talk to them anymore, you know, they weren't up to my standards, you know? Really? Yeah, once you go black, you never go back. Doesn't apply. I mean, don't worry, he's not dumb enough to pursue that again. I don't know. Uh. Mm. Mm. But you know what, let's just focus on the positive, all right? Right. All right. We are about to embark on a brand new chapter of our lives. Mm. You're baked. What? Don't do that, you're scaring the customer. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like it's wet. Oh, oh, you got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. Go, go. You sure it's okay to do it out here? Yeah, nobody's gonna know. Oh, damn, that shit is good. Uh, tell me about um your day. Mm -hmm. Or yet, but you got a berry in there. You put berries in there. That's berry. me. Just throw it up. Yeah, that's good. Why don't you try again here on the ass uh, and give a couple, uh, do a couple yourself. Check it out. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Was that hatha yoga you were practicing over there? I saw it. That was incredible. Smooth it out. Use some spit. I think it's like. Use a little spit. Yeah, because there's a bigger vein. Yeah. There's a big vein going. Like she's okay. Like, yeah. So like add a little bit of the base here. Yeah. yeah. Your hair. Easy fix. Really good. <laughs> Everybody watch. This is the big finish. Ah. Oh, oh, ah, 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 the last two weeks have been magical, and I don't want to get cheesy, but deep down in my heart, I feel like she understands me as no one else ever has. Plus, she's got a super wide bush. I love it. This is great news. It is. I know, right? Most girls wax, but not Mel. I like to get lost down there. It's a jungle. No, I, I meant it's great news that it's going so well. Yeah, not great news about the bush. Oh, right. Yeah, well, that too. That is going very well. Uh, but mainly the relationship. Well, you haven't seen this bush. It's outstanding. Sounds like a real throwback. So. Moving on, what are you guys doing? Dude, can you not put gum underneath my bar? Where do you want me to put it, Rafe? Last time I put it on top of the bar, you flipped out, and I put it under the bar, which is the next logical step. You're giving me grief. What do you want me to do with it? Oh, you and Mel. Seems like you guys are going the distance, huh? Yeah, wow. it sounds like you met your soulmate. Your intended could be your future bride. Uh, hey, I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, yeah, she is, she is pretty amazing. Did I mention her bush? Indeed you did, in detail. You don't need to say it again. I can't believe you have a girlfriend, man. Yeah, I know. When do we get to meet her? Uh, oh, we're going to Kurt's cabin this week, and you should bring her. Yeah, yeah, Kurt, can I? Yeah, it'll be fun, that'll be cool. Yes! Yeah! yeah. Cool. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, I oh, cool. love her, it's gonna be great. You might even get a peek at that bush. I don't know, we'll see what we can I'm do. okay with just meeting her. Why'd you invite Barry again? I told you, he's got a girlfriend now, so. And? And it'll be totally different. This will be the kinder, gentler Barry. Exactly, she'll keep him on a short leash. Yeah, kind of like a buffer. A little Barry buffer. <laughs> right. Oh, there they are. Hey! Ah. Hey! Oh, well, hi. we knew you were there before the honk. Hello? This is Mel. 
Oh, she's hey, so guys. pretty. Oh, wow. She's like an angel Hi. from heaven. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm Desmond. Great to meet you. Oh, OK, the guy who couldn't get it up for his wife. Yeah, well, that's him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you must be the lucky lady who's finally getting some. That's me. My name is Rachel. You didn't tell me your name was Rachel. I, used, I had a, um, a rat called Rachel. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, um, that's this a is... detail. Wait, no, 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 I'm going to guess because he has told me so much about your... Watch this, watch this. Um, skank magnet, ice queen, <laughs> no balls pushover. Five for five. Yeah, you hit, hit the nail on the head there. I know, I know, Luder, she's got some brains up there, huh? Aww. Not to mention a beautiful set of knockers Sorry. right here. They're only a B cup. Only. Although, actually, I can swell to a C when I'm menstruating. Ah, uh, that's disgusting. Oh my god, I never thought yeah. I'd say this to a lady, but I can't wait for your time of the month. Oh. <laughs> but get ready for the three Bs. Bloated, bitchy, and breasty. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm getting a little bee of my own right here. Check it out. I looked. I looked. You know what, guys? I wanna, I wanna drive. No, no, no please. No, 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 I'll drive. No, 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 I wanna drive. I wanna drive. I wanna drive. Yeah. What, do you, what do you say? You wanna get in there and make out a bit before these guys yeah. finish packing? Um, if the vans are rocking. Don't come no, out. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's another joke. It's another joke. We won't go all the way. No, just oral. Yeah. <laughs> please don't do that in my car. Ray, please put my shit in the back. Anyway, let me let me add to the party. Oh. It's gonna be good. Listen. Oh. 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 oh, I hit a high note on that one. Oh. 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 You guys, I think he's allergic. Two particles. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh baby, unlock the windows, Barry. Oh, it's gorgeous. Isn't it? Oh, I can't wait to pork you here. You're the best porker. I know, aren't I? I've been wanting to walk you the whole car ride. The whole ride? Yeah. Uh, how many bedrooms have you got? One. Dibs! <laughs> get up there, get up there. Brave, grab my shit. This is gonna be fun, guys. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun. You guys having fun? No. I taste that fart. I'm so excited to go swimming. Yeah. yeah. This is the best part of coming up here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys are gonna love it. I used to go to the swimming hole all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. Last one in is a rotten piece of shit. <laughs> Woo <-hoo>! Woo! <laughs> here we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fresh air feels good on my balls. Okay. There's actually some board games back at the cabin. Oh yeah. I'm into that. I love these board, board games. What yeah. better way to spend a beautiful day? Yeah. So nice. Yeah, babe. Yeah. Yeah, and this, this one here, is actually mm. three generations of my family standing just out front, so. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Did you see that? Do you have to do it? I haven't done that in so go. long. Oh, my God. All right, your turn, your turn. No, you gotta let it, we gotta get it all gathered in here. Come on, okay. Rafe, come on, buddy. Moon Rally, come, come on. on, get out here. Not my thing. Stop doing that in college. Go, go, go. Do it. And this is a pine needle fort I made for the beetle army I was <laughs> rising. Look at her, she's 
She just let it slide right down her throat. Oh god, that's sexy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the sink. Do it, do it. Yeah. This is one of my uh, yeah, my yeah, old yeah, cat's right. beast. Yeah, I got this garbage. Just bring up here. It's okay, right? I got some puke coming out of my nose. Are you? You don't look too well. Oh, honey, breathe, breathe. I just wish they would like the up quieter. Oh, mm. Mm. Hey. Uh, oh, don't look back there. Don't oh, look back there, I yeah. said. Kitchen blowy, guys. This is heaven. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, come on up. Yeah, Let's yeah. just try to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Lady up. <laughs> we should play Twister. This wine is nice. I think the more you puke, the drunker you get. Isn't that the way it goes? Did I get puke on your cock? Don't worry about it. I like it. <sighs> think that's enough? Um, maybe a few more would be sexier. You got it, Juicy Jugs. Let me just check on the gang, make sure everyone is nice and cozy. Hey, everybody. Everybody doing okay down there? Uh, no. Uh, no. Yeah, I love sleeping in chairs. All right. Night, everybody. Sleep tight. Yeah. That is nice. inevitable. Love you guys. Is there a kind of shark in this town? No, this, this is not even the town. What's happening in the woods? Are they fucking up there? It's, it's not that bad. It's actually kind of romantic if you think about it. Oh, baby. Oh, get that off. No. Me. no. He's definitely having sex. No. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, Come on. Yeah. No. No, no. Okay. It's in my mouth. Sorry. Oh, what? You smell some? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks worse than it is, I think, Kurt. It's completely engulfed in flames. Yeah, but those are professional firefighters in there. They're gonna save your place, I promise you. Your place is toast. Shit. But I did manage to save your family albums. Well, I tried. Oh, man, those albums are old and you're barely in them. Listen, don't worry, don't worry about it, okay? I will rebuild it with my own bare hands. I took wood shop in high school. Oh, 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 you. You. It was an accident. Good. You were an accident. I only used that many candles because it made Mel's body look so fine. I mean, wouldn't you? Go away. Go away forever. Don't come back. No, you don't mean that. Yes, he does. We all do. Rafe? I think you should go, Barry. Seriously? It's not all his fault. I am just as responsible. Oh, no, 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 I... no, 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 Mel. No, no. It was an accident. It was an accident. Kurt. I promise you, I am not gonna burn your cabin down anymore, okay? Obviously, Barry. That's impossible. There's only one. What about Pals Forever? Stop saying that. Why? Because it's just a stupid motto from camp and it doesn't mean anything. It does, babe. Let's... Rachel, it means something to me. Get it straight, Barry. You ruined our trip and we want you gone. You could take your inappropriate girlfriend with you. What do you mean, my inappropriate girlfriend? She's a train wreck, dude. Yeah, nobody likes her. She's just as bad as you are. Face it, she is a berry, Barry. What's a berry? What's a, I'll tell you what a berry is, Barry. A berry is a person with no cooth, no sense of propriety. It's a person who gets you fired, destroys your relationships, and pretty much ruins everything in your entire life. Okay, look, I don't care what you think of me, but Barry has been nothing but an amazing friend to you all. Oh, really? Because from where I'm sitting, he's ruined everything. We didn't mean to do it. It doesn't matter what you mean to do. What matters is what you do do. <laughs> do do. Mel, right. no, grow up. Come on. Guys, guys, it's me. It's Barry, okay? It's your best friend. Let's let's talk about this. Friends stick by each other no matter what. I mean, even, even through cabin fires, right? Well, there was a limit to what we can handle, Barry. Why do you think we tried so hard to find you a wife? because we were trying to get rid of you. That's why you did it? You guys wanted to get rid of me? I see. Let's get out of here. Those guys are all 
assholes. No, they're not assholes. I'm the asshole. Well, I think they're assholes. Stop. Stop calling them assholes. They're my friends. Friends stand by each other, remember? So do boyfriends, by the way. What? Where, where is that coming from? Really? What, Mel? What, what, what was I supposed to say? Well, I don't think you were supposed to tell me to grow up. I see. Okay. So this is about you now. Obviously. Paris. My best friends, my lifelong best friends, just ripped my heart out of my chest and told me that they never want to see me again. And you're fucking crying? I'm... You're hurt. You're the one who's hurt? First of all, I am not crying. Barry, I'm not crying, but my feelings were hurt because your lifelong best friend said some not very nice things about me. That hurt you? Yes, it did. And you didn't say anything. Did you agree with them? No. That wasn't very convincing. Well, maybe there's a kernel of truth to it, Mel. What's that mean? I'm saying it can't be a coincidence that the, the first time I bring you up to the cabin, my friends dump me. Oh, it's okay. So it's... This is all my fault. Yes, it's your fault, okay? My life was perfect before I met you. It was perfection. What? And now it's a big old pile of shit. Barry, did you say your life was perfect yes. before me? Because I thought you had no job and no relationship, and your friends still wanted to get rid of you. Well, that worked for me, Mel, okay? You're a dick. Oh, now I'm a dick. Yes, Barry, you know, the dick fits. Well, I think you know the dick fits. Please never, ever call me again. Oh, that's fine. I'll never, ever, ever call you again. I'll never. I wouldn't dream of it, Mel. Mel! <laughs> Fuck. I kind of feel bad for the guy. Look, it's not what any of us wanted, but it had to happen. Yeah, it did. Let's face it, our friendship with Barry has run its course. It's just time we move on with our lives, you know what I mean? <sighs> oh. Who's that? It's one of the uh, agencies I applied to. I'll be right back. Hello? They love my reel and just won two new accounts. I start Monday. Oh my god, baby, I am so proud of you. That's awesome. I know. You go ahead, I'll be up in a bit. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'm just gonna jot down some campaign ideas before I forget. I won't be long. This is kind of an unusual date. No, it's, it's romantic and, and fun. And, you know, I couldn't find a sitter, so. I think he wants to play baseball. That's what the mitt's for, Dad. Right, but this is something we all can do together. And then when he goes to bed, you can stick around, we'll have some wine. I'm gonna go. Why? You need to be with your son, and honestly, I'm not ready for this. Bye, JT. Bye. Sarah, really? You're seriously leaving? Guess it's just you and me, bud. Cool? Yeah, cool. You wanna just order a pizza? Yeah. Desmond. Client loves a campaign, so we'll go. Awesome. I'll drop by your office later and we'll talk about the production schedule. Okay. Great job, man. Thank you. Uh, huh. Oh, and Desmond, this is just a silly formality, but because of our new parent company, HR needs you to take a drug test. Okay. No problem.
a little. Elbow up like this. You stare down that pitch when you stare him in the eye. Oh, hey. Bases are loaded, bottom of the ninth, crowd's on its feet. Here's the pitch. Boom! Deep center! Let's do that again. Do it again? <laughs> All right. OK, everybody who has a pair of scissors near them, pick them up. All right? I'd like you to put them on this finger, your index finger right here, and start twirling. Do it, do it. Get your scissors, come on. All right, this is the exact wrong way to handle a pair of scissors, okay? Don't ever let me catch you doing this. Put them down, put them down. Okay, put it on your finger again. Spin it around. And you fail! I just said don't do that! <laughs> Listen, guys, if you don't start working harder, I'm gonna take each and every one of you individually to the outhouse and I'm gonna fart on your face. <laughs> The Golden Acres juice. The, the... You know, the one with the organic farm on the label. You know, the one that I like. Uh, okay. I'll buy some tomorrow. I need it now. You, you want me to go get you some now? Mm-hmm. You... Just to clarify, you want me to get up and walk 11 blocks at 3 in the morning to get you specific juice? Maybe we shouldn't have gotten back together. What are you saying? Don't say that. Every other boyfriend would have done this for me. All right. Yeah. All right, yeah. I got you. I'm getting up. I am getting up and I am getting dressed. Thanks. And I'm walking out the door. Thanks, Danny. To my place. What? You know, Barry was right. You don't deserve me. Barry's never right. Barry, I admit he has a poor batting average, but he is right in this instance. Why are you getting so angry? Because I am a treasure, Camille, and you're a bad pirate. What? You're joking, right? I'll tell you something else. No one in their right mind, unless they're insane, paints this many pictures of themselves. I'm beautiful. No, you're a madman. You love me. Not anymore. Last thing, because I know I've been back and forth a bit. No woman who knows her body, like you claim to do, takes an hour and a half to orgasm. That's too much work. And I'm down there munching away. So look at me now, Camille. Look at me. This is what a man looks like. This is what it looks like, OK? This is what it looks like with a man who now has his dignity back. Goodbye, Camille. Now you have to eat your own stew. Because. like you miss him. Uh, no. No, I don't really. I just... I never met anyone I felt so connected to in my entire life. And so it hurts a bit. Because I thought he was different. But he wasn't, and that's fine. There's a new tech guy at my office. I could introduce you. What do you think? I think I am not going to let myself get hurt anymore. But thanks. Thank you. Sleep in. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't sleep. My boss wants me to take a drug test. I'm gonna lose my job. Okay. We'll figure something out. But you have to promise something. What? What? Okay, look. Um, you love your job just as much as I love my job. But I feel like things were just starting to get good again, and now we're kind of like slipping back into that bad place. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah. Okay, so let's just make a deal. You don't work weekends, and we'll both take our vacation days. Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah. that sounds good. I love you. Mm. I'm still gonna get fired. No, because I've got a plan. Mm -hmm. Strictly weekdays, huh? Mm-hmm. We, uh, we found some balance. I dumped Camille. Really? Yeah, I, I think I can do better. Wow. We never liked her. Not even a bit. Very mentioned that. She was a straight up business niche nash noosh. All right. She offered me a blowjob once. Too soon. She offered. I said no. Rafe, how's dating? Uh, haven't been. Without Barry, I've been spending a ton of time with JT. Kid's great. He does miss Barry, though. I mean, I don't at all. No. Guy was a nightmare. So much easier without him around. No more messes to clean up. No more hassles. No one to apologize for. No one to apologize for. Kinda sucks. Yeah. Totally. I'm just so bummed, you know. Not only was she a really fantastic girl, but she had these great big juicy jugs, you know, just showstoppers. Oh, someone's at my door. I, I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay, Grandma? I love you. Bye. Hey. 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 What are you guys doing here? Can we talk? Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. And when we say we are sorry about everything we said and did, we really mean it. What we said was mean. And the stuff we said about Mel, too. I mean, she didn't deserve that. Yeah, she didn't deserve that. She's a sweetheart. But I'll relay that message to her if I ever talk to her again. We want you back, Barry. We're your friends, Barry, always. No matter what ridiculous, obnoxious, inane, stupid thing you might do. Will do. Yeah, I probably will do something like that. Barry, will you forgive us? I don't think so. I want you guys to get out of my house right now. Get out of here! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. I, I could barely pull that off. Did you guys see that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, pals forever, dick tattoos, finally. We're gonna do it? No, no come no, on. No, no, no. You get a tattoo of a dick on your dick, and on the tattoo of the dick on your dick, it says, pals forever. I'm mainly concerned about the pain. That's the point. Hey. <laughs> so. <laughs> And I knew that if I just concentrated hard enough, believed hard enough, it would come back to life. You didn't revive the possum. That's what they do. That's what they do. They play possum. You ever heard of playing possum? No. Why would you want to play with a dead animal? They're not dead. They're pretending to be dead. You did not revive that animal. Ray, maybe you're not understanding me. You don't have powers to revive dead animals. Okay, if I don't have powers. What you got there, man? Hey, hey, buddy. Nothing. Just, uh, oh, I, I uh, have something here that I've been meaning to give to you for a little while. It's uh, my share of the mail order bride. Or uh, it's a start, anyway. Thanks, man. Yeah. You need a wallet. I do need a wallet, but <laughs> yeah. for now, this will have to do. <laughs> How are you, man? Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah, I'm really well, you know? Like, uh, things feel, uh, things feel shitty. I can't get over Mel. I can't stop thinking about her. I'm just, I'm a wreck. You know, I, <laughs> most girls don't understand me, Des. They punch me, but Mel, she got me, and I blew it. Well, you got us, man. Yeah, I know, I know, and I, I'm thrilled that we're all hanging out together again. Believe me, I, I just, Nobody else makes me feel the way that she does. Hmm. That's no slam to you guys, you know? Nobody makes me feel that way. I, I, I've never even considered spending the rest of my life with somebody. Well, have you told her this? 
What do you mean? Like how you feel. How would I do that? I mean, what you said sounded pretty darn good. No. What? You, what, yeah. you, you think? Absolutely. I gotta tell her, don't I? For sure. I gotta do this. I wanna, we gotta, I gotta do this. I wanna do it on Monday. Well, uh, why, why Monday? Monday's way better for me. The weekend is packed. I got, I got crowd. I gotta transfer all my Blu-rays to DVD. You cannot wait till Monday, Barry. You've met the woman that you wanna drive everyone crazy with for the rest of your life. You have to be with her now. I have to. Good. Do you know where she is? What's today? Um, Friday. Yeah, I know exactly where she is. To smile the heavens upon this holy act after I was a sorrow chaga son. Amen. But come what sorrow can, it cannot countervail the exchange of joy that one short minute gives me in her sight. Do we really need to be running? No, it's just more romantic this way. Hey, any idea where I could get some clean urine? I have some. Not mine, but I have some. This is my ghostly confessor. Romeo shall thank thee for us both. As much to him else as his thanks That's too much. But Juliet, if the measure of thy joy be heat like mine, and that thy skill be more to blazon it, the imagined happiness that both receive in either Barry. by this dear and kind Barry. conceit, oh. more rich matter than in There's an entrance. Oh, it's okay, I got in. Shh, I found her where. She has no Mel Miller. Where true love is grown to such extent. Hey. Hey. Mel Miller. Comes the messenger. Mel Miller. Go to you know messenger. Mel Miller? <laughs> I go Mel with Miller? you later. Ah! Oh. Mel Miller. Mel, Mel Miller. Hey, yeah. Mel Miller. Shut up, asshole. Is, uh, British blonde bombshell no. works here. Come on, fuck it. Right. Listen, they both take suicide pills and they die. Okay, it's really sad. Dude. Blah 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 blah. Just screw on the whole play, you oh, idiot. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, you guys didn't know that? Let's call the eighth grade dummies. Try it sometime. It's Romeo and Juliet. Oh, ah, there she is. There's. What are no, you doing? I need to talk to you. Please come here. Pretend it's part of the show. Barry, please. Not until I say some things to you. This'll just take a moment. It's very sick. So sorry. I'm sorry. It's a lovely setting for Shakespeare. No, I just need to say a couple things. No, no, stay here. I have to do it here. I have to do it here. Uh, sorry. Yes. 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 Sorry. I I love. I love. I love. I, I love your tits. Oh. I, no, it's, I, 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 that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I'm, 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 I'm not that gross. I'm, I do love her tits. I just, you got great tits. I love your tits. I, I just, that's, that. just, I, I can do better. I, I love. What? I love. I love. I love your breath. Even in the morning when when it smells like a sweaty sock. I love it even more that way. I just want to climb inside your mouth and live there. I love that I can all I can always tell what you've had for lunch because I can taste it later when we're making out. And, and I love I love that you're so not into your looks that you don't even care that you have a daddy long legs mole growing under your arm and it's got little whiskers and you all never right. pluck them. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I and I love I love that your accent is so thick. I have I literally have no idea what you're saying to me half the time. Is that it? Yeah. See, I can barely even understand that. I love that your nose whistles every time I make you come. And I, and I love that your little nickname for my butthole is my smelly butt. And, and, and I love that you have to take off all your clothes every time you have to take a poo, even in public restrooms. It's so adorable. It takes forever. And, and I, love, I love that you have a, a dedicated savings account just for future space travel. Good. And, and, and I, I love your little mustache. You noticed it. It's my favorite little mustache I've ever seen. Even if that makes me gay, I'm gay for your stash. I'm gay for a stash. I love you. Barry. How am I supposed to stay angry with you when you say stuff like that? You're not. Baby, you been making me crazy. You been driving me wild. really passionately. It's enough. You get married, you get it. There we go. What'd you expect? I've seen enough. You're gonna get used to that? Tell me about it. Oh, hey. Hi. I'm, I'm Kurt. Hey. 
Oh, are, are you... Big hey, Kate. Oh, uh, Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I'm on solo duty. Ah, uh, same here. I know what you mean. Come on, Dad. Uh, call me. We'll get coffee. But weekdays only. Weekends are guy time. I really can't wait for, like, all these people to get out of my house. Yeah, it's a lot of people over there. I feel like someone's gonna steal something. Yeah, I saw a couple of people behind some things. I saw you talking to Paige. Oh, yeah, she's nice. I take some getting used to, but... Hey, JT. What up, bitches? Oh, yo. I mean, hey, guys. I'm still trying to unteach him some of the things that Barry taught him. Uncle Desmond, how'd your science project go? What science project? The one he needed my pee for. Oh, right. Uh, give me the ace tip, man. Yeah. That is a moral and illegal threat, my man. What do we say, buddy? Pals forever. Hope you guys don't mind. We kind of adopted it. It's plagiarism, well, technically. Should have checked with us. Yeah. You realize we're going to have to put up with both of them for the rest of our lives, right? I'd say that's the least of our worries. What could be worse? A little berry. Everyone's got one. The Perfect. inappropriate friend. Oh, good. Oh, oh, that's terrible. I don't want that at all. The one with no filter. The one you just can't take anywhere. Hi, you didn't see me, but I had a great, like, bionic man thing going. <laughs> Woo! What the hell is that? His name is Sammy. He's a counselor in my camp. Avoid him at all costs, all right? It's the kind of guy that just constantly says all the wrong things. Pull in a china shop, totally embarrassing to be around. What are you gonna do, though? There's one in every group. Got that right. Hey, man! Oh, my God, he's coming over here. He's all yours. Bear. You guys must be Barry's friends. Oh, my God. That's Barry's Barry. And a friend of Barry is a friend of mine. And a friend no. of Barry is a friend of mine. Bring it in. Bring it in.
can't stop crying all these tears in my beers where I rap. Can't stop crying all these tears in my beers where I rap. Can't stop crying all these tears in my beers where I rap. Can't stop crying all these tears in my beers where I rap. Can't stop crying all these tears in my beers where I rap. Can't stop crying all these. 